Hello my soccer universe and welcome to one of my favorite videos ahead of every big tournament where I showcase from my collection one jersey for each of the teams present. I agree, it's a little bit show-offy. In any case, I always like to do that because this is always my goal right now that for each team I have at least one jersey. Uh, if you watch my From the Collection videos, you also know that I end up hanging the jerseys then back there in the background, which is kind of sparse at the moment. Uh, but you know, for 24 teams, this is really hard to do. So I'm gonna choose only 12 and which 12 to choose, I will take the top seeds, meaning the teams from pot one and the teams from pot two that will go up on the wall and the rest goes on the heap. Enough talking, we have a lot of jerseys to get through. So let's start out with the hosts. For Germany, I chose this uh, um, away jersey from the 22 World Cup that I recently found at a local mall for a relatively difficult price. It's a decent jersey, I have, have to say, one that I always liked. Next up, Hungary. Also the 22 away jersey. Absolutely love the design with the Hungarian flag across, although middle band should have been a little, little bit wider. Uh, it's a really beautiful Adidas design, as is the German Germany jersey. Probably of the two Hungary jerseys I have, that's my favorite, I would say. For Scotland, we go a teeny bit more vintage. This is the 2020 home jersey. Love the sleeve cuffs here. Uh, this was a gift, of course, from Andy for me. Um, really pleased with this one. It's an absolutely gorgeous jersey. And for Switzerland, it's my recently acquired 2016 home jersey. Very much a Swiss jersey, nothing exciting on there. But you know, it has the form strap, which is actually quite outstanding for a Swiss jersey because it's not just plain red. I prefer this over what they have currently. Let's go over to group B and we have Spain. I have chosen the 2006 home jersey. This will be my go-to jersey during the Euros because the current Spain home jersey has used a similar color scheme, only red and yellow. I have to say when this was released, I was not so sold on it, but you know, this one has grown uh, at me quite a bit. So there you go. This is my Spain jersey for these Euros. Albania surely is the biggest outsider uh, in Group B. However, they were the second seed. So there, there you go. I have this, I think this was the 2018 home jersey, uh, which is quite interesting, I have to say. I really love the way the color is done. Maybe the pattern, which is of course based on the double eagle from the Albanian crest, could have been a little bit less abstract so that one can actually uh, tell the eagle. But I guess here, these are the heads and these are the rest is the wings. But it's still quite an outstanding jersey. For Croatia, I have this beauty from 2016. This is my favorite Croatia jersey. Absolutely. Yes, the one that's more rigid uh, with also small um, checkerboards is also great. But I absolutely love the playfulness of this design. Fortunately, the tournament was not, not great. But I'm so pleased that I have this Croatia jersey now. And for one of my favorite teams at this Euros Italy, I decided to go with a 2016 away jersey. A real beauty. Absolutely, I love the Italian flag down the center. I usually don't like when they put the Italian flag colors on the away jersey or the home jersey all that much, especially the away jersey, because I don't think they look that great on white. But here it just somehow works. It's absolutely gorgeous. In Group C, I went with an England away jersey. That's the one from 2017. I wanted to have a darker colored away jersey that's not red. Given that this year we also have kind of a weird color, I thought this is the appropriate one. I remember when this was released, I immediately thought, oh, this is a really nice one. Glad that I could find it very recently. The second seed in this group was Denmark. And this is my first ever Denmark jersey that I got ahead of the last Euros. Um, it is the player version, long sleeve from 2018 World Cup with number 10. Christian Eriksen and that was kind of foreboding. He is still in the Euros, so I hope this time he will do a lot better and not have any health troubles. Besides Albania behind me, one of the teams that I had to get this year ahead of the Euros was of course Slovenia. And while I would have loved the more recent jersey, I have to say this one from the 2010 World Cup uh, is quite nice and you know it is a World Cup that is near and dear to me. I love the triglyph design on the uh, front, which is of course the Charlie Brown design. If you, you would like, yes, they don't do that much green and white anymore, but still, this was one of the Slovenia jerseys that I could, could get and I'm quite pleased with 
this one. Group, I decided for Serbia to also go with the away jersey because it's a nicer one. The other one is a 2018 home jersey. I like this one that they then qualified also for, for the World Cup with. It's not typical Serbia colors, but I love the color co co combinations on it. And it's also a famous jersey, you know, where they beat Portugal away from home. To qualify for the World Cup, however, they also wore this when they were beaten on penalties by Scotland and not qualify for the previous years. The first time that Serbia are at the Euros. We are in Group D, the Austrian group. I'm from Austria, but we'll start with an absolute classic here. 2000 France with names that Sidan on the back. It's probably my favorite France jersey in my collection. I gotta, I, 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 I gotta say, it's just everything about it. I absolutely love and I'm so glad that for this Euros France have come back to this shade of blue. Okay, for the entirety of this video for Austria, I have been showing you this 2020 home jersey, which I actually do like, meanwhile, quite, quite a lot. But for the one jersey that I want to show us here, it's of course the 2016 away jersey. This is such a classic Austria shirt. Maybe the one thing is put this on a shield and we are talking. But I absolutely love this one ahead of the Euro 2016. I said, this is the one I need to get. And I got it. Unfortunately, those Euros didn't work out that well. But the women did very well wearing this jersey. So there's something. The Dutch jersey I want to use for the jersey is still in the mail. So I went with an away jersey and it's a beauty. It's this one from 2014. Ah, that's the famous one where they beat Spain 5-1 and they also beat Brazil 3-0 and to secure a third spot. Absolutely gorgeous shirt. Look, just look at the lion. Just look at the lion, how beautiful it is done. The pattern takes a little bit inspiration from A88. This was a jersey that I've been after for a long time. An absolutely gorgeous piece. Gorgeous, but in a more understated way, is this beautiful Poland jersey from the previous Euros. Uh, I absolutely love this one the moment I saw. Yes, the centralized crest is maybe not totally to my liking, but it's classic Poland. Poland always had it on the center. Uh, so you have to put, put the numbers. There's a little bit imbalance on, on this one. But what I absolutely love is, A, I love me a shirt color, but that it is in the flag. That makes it special. And the same thing goes, of course, for the sleeve cuffs. Very underrated, very understated design, but this was always a standard to me. So I'm pleased I finally could get this one. The top seed in Group E is, of course, Belgium. And another one where I went retro. Also, Euro 2000, I went with this home jersey. Again, flag color. You have the flag colors here. Other than that, it's relatively simple. Uh, note how small also the crest is. Nike did not go all out back then. Uh, the one thing I have, have to say, I really love this jersey. It has a very loose fit, but a very tight collar. <laughs> that makes it a little bit hard to wear in the summer. They may be outsiders, but they were in pot too. We talk about, of course, Romania. It was really hard to get a Romania jersey. So when I saw one pop up, I needed to get it almost immediately without asking much. Uh, this is the one from 2008. I note the slightly darker yellow, but I absolutely love the way that we have also the country's colors here. It's not the flag for that. We need to exchange the red and the yellow, but I think it's a really pretty shirt overall. Maybe the bottom here. Could use some work but that's adidas templating it for you another jersey that i absolutely loved upon release was this slovakia it is now the home jersey this was from 2018 yes a little bit logo overload here but i think i'm fine, fine with it. although you know this way i probably would look better but i absolutely love those sleeves those sleeves is what take it to the next ne next level and yes maybe one could have worked better and not have it so templatey around here but you know I don't really mind. This is a really, really beautiful shirt. The oldest shirt I'm going to show you is this beautiful Ukraine jersey that was used in qualifying for Euro 2000. But so this was uh, 98, 9, 99. I got this for an absolute steal a few years back. Uh, it is so hard to get Ukraine jersey at the moment that I'm happy that I have this one and I, I, I am absolutely in love with it. Uh, it is very ventilated. It's really, really a nice shirt it's a blank on the back uh but i love that design although at the time this color seemed weird now it is kind of modern if you would like group f and i chose my most beautiful portugal shirt yes it's the away jersey i loved how away this is done this is so stylish when i wear this 
I don't feel I like, like, like I'm wearing a soccer jersey. This looks like a modern clothing piece in a way. I really love the color going down here. Yes, it's a little bit tight. That's why I have, have it open because when, when, when I wear it, uh, I don't have such a big head, but it still doesn't quite nicely fit through it. It's also centenary. So we have here a hundred years crest. I absolutely love everything about this jersey. It's simple, but it's absolutely gorgeous. On the other end of the spectrum is this Turkey jersey from 2016. In 2016, all the Nike teams had template shirts, but the smaller teams got actually nice ones. We had Poland with a cool one, we had Croatia, the one that I showed you, and we had Turkey with an absolute outstanding design. I just wonder if it's pretty or not, but you know, and with this gradient on there, but it is something different. And for that, I really like this one. The pattern, of course, continues on on the back and with black and red, you always uh, ride well with me, to be honest. So yeah, take it or leave it. It is something different. I was contemplating to show you a check away jersey, but the one that I want to use for the euros is also still in, in the mail. So I went with the one from 2008, my first check jersey that I got, I think also for a really, relatively cool discount. Uh, it is simple, but it's exactly what a check jersey should do. It's uh, red with a little bit of blue and I love that crest. I hate it when they got away from it in 2012, but the full coat of arms of the Czech Republic is one of the more outstanding ones. I got to say with the quartered look and especially the Moravian Eagle with the checkerboard design is just something else. Uh, other than that, very simple jersey, but I think it's a pretty cool one overall. Last but definitely not least, Georgia. I knew if they qualify, I will need to get a jersey of theirs. And I was going back and forth with, you know, when they were in, in the playoffs, which one should, should they get? Because I knew they have a good chance because they were home field advantage all, all the way through. Although if Greece would have qualified, this would have saved me quite some money. But then they, qual they, they qualified and they were wearing this jersey. I was thinking about the black one because it's really beautiful. I was thinking about the white one, which is a little bit different because, you know, at the Euros, there are way too many red jerseys, but this is the one that I qualified in. That's the, also the one that I could get customization for. And who did I get? Of course. Quaraschelia or Quaradonna, as I like to call him. It's overall relatively simple but striking. I absolutely love St. George, St. George here, be defeating the dragon on the crest. I have to say the previous iteration of this one had a little bit more of an outline which made it a bit more special. But um the camera might only pick it up slightly. This jersey is littered with crosses. However, you see already there are some crosses thicker and some thinner, which is actually a reflection of the Georgian flag. You see here one cross here. You see a major cross down, 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 down the middle. You see another one that a little bit thicker stands, standing out here. So basically the red portions are made with thick crosses and the white portions of the flag with thinner crosses. I find this, it's a very understated, but I find it a really, really cool feature that this, this is there. And of course it says something here in Georgian, which of course I cannot read. So there we have it, 24 jerseys for the 24 teams present, the top seats, at least from the draw, they're not the favorites, are present here. All of these jerseys that I showed you, I will use in my coverage for Euro 2024. So this is why I've carefully selected them because sometimes I could have chosen different jerseys as well, but these are the ones I wanna go for. Let me know which of these jerseys did you like in, in here? Did I make some good choices? Uh, would, would you like to have seen something different? Yes, you know, during the review videos and during the Euros, you will see also some other jerseys. I maybe went sometimes a little bit more on the alternates right here. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let, let me know of how many teams do you have jerseys of. And I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!